Ever wondered how you can turn a single plant into an entire garden? Welcome to the fascinating world of plant propagation, a natural process that allows you to multiply your plants, turning one into many. This isn't just a cost-effective way to fill your garden, but it's also a method that adds diversity and uniqueness to your green space. Imagine having a garden filled with the same beautiful rose bush, or an indoor space filled with your favorite succulent, all originating from a single parent plant. That's the magic of plant propagation. It allows you to create a personal garden from scratch, cultivating a deeper connection with nature. Whether you're an experienced gardener looking to expand your green empire, or a newbie in the gardening world seeking to add a touch of green to your living space, plant propagation is a skill worth mastering. Stick around to learn how to multiply your plants like a pro. One of the most popular methods of plant propagation is through cuttings. This technique is quite straightforward, allowing you to create an exact genetic replica of your favorite flora. So, how do we go about it? First off, you'll need a few essentials. A sharp, clean knife or pair of pruners, a pot with drainage holes, some potting mix, and a healthy parent plant. Choose a plant that's mature, disease-free, and in its active growing phase. Next, it's time to take a cutting. Look for a healthy stem on the parent plant with multiple leaf nodes. A leaf node is the point on the stem where a leaf emerges. Cut about four to six inches from the tip of the stem, ideally just below a node. Make sure your cut is clean and sharp to avoid damaging the plant tissue. Now remove the lower leaves from your cutting, leaving only a couple at the top. This reduces water loss and encourages the cutting to focus its energy on developing roots. Next, dip the cut end of the stem into a rooting hormone. This step isn't mandatory, but it can significantly boost root development, giving your cutting a better chance of success. Now, it's time to plant. Fill your pot with a well-draining potting mix, then make a hole in the center. Insert your cutting, ensuring the node where you remove the leaves is buried in the soil. Firmly press the soil around the stem to provide support. After planting, place your cutting in a warm, bright location, but out of direct sunlight. Keep the soil consistently moist, but not waterlogged as this could cause the cutting to rot. In a few weeks, your cutting should start showing signs of growth. New leaves are a good indication that roots have developed. Once your plant is well rooted and growing strongly, it can be transplanted to a larger pot or directly into the garden depending on the species. And there you have it, a new plant from a cutting. This method of propagation is a simple and satisfying way to expand your garden and share your favorite plants with friends and family. Another effective method of propagation is by division. This technique involves separating one plant into two or more independent plants. It's like magic, but with a bit of dirt. So, how does it work? Well, some plants naturally grow in such a way that they form clumps or clusters. These plants can be divided into separate units, each capable of growing independently. This means that from a single plant, you can create multiple new ones, each with its own roots and shoots. This is particularly effective with perennial herbs and plants like chives, mint or daylilies. The best part? It's a simple process that anyone can master. To begin, you'll need to dig up the plant you wish to divide. Always be gentle to avoid damaging the roots. Once you've unearthed the plant, you'll notice that it's actually a collection of smaller plants, all bundled together. Now it's time to do some division. You can use your hands or a sharp knife to carefully separate the plant into smaller parts, each with its own roots and shoots. Remember, each division is a new plant in the making, so handle with care. Once your divisions are ready, it's time to plant them. Prepare a suitable pot or a spot in your garden with well-draining soil. Place the division in the soil and cover the roots, leaving the shoots exposed. Water it well, and voila! you've successfully propagated a plant by division. This method is great because it's quick, easy, and best of all, it doesn't require any special tools or materials. Plus, it's a fantastic way to control the size of overgrown plants and keep your garden looking tidy. Remember, not all plants are suitable for division. It's always a good idea to do a little research on your specific plant species before diving in. But for those that are, division offers a fantastic opportunity to multiply your green family in no time. With division, you can easily multiply your plants. Layering is another propagation method that you can try. This technique is rather fascinating as it allows a plant to begin developing new roots before it even separates from the parent plant. It might sound complex, but it's surprisingly simple. It's all about bending a low-growing, flexible stem to the ground, 
or in some cases into a pot filled with a good quality potting mix. This part of the plant is known as the layer. Once you've got your layer in place, you make a small incision on the stem. This wound stimulates the plant to produce new roots. To keep the layer in place, you can use something as simple as a piece of wire or a bent coat hanger. The goal is to keep the layer in contact with the soil or potting mix. This ensures that the plant gets the nutrients it needs to start developing its new root system. Now, patience is key here because layering is not a quick process. It could take several weeks or even months for the layer to establish a strong root system, but the wait is well worth it. Think about it, you're essentially getting a clone of the parent plant with all its characteristics and that's pretty awesome. Some plants that respond particularly well to layering include roses, forsythia, rhododendron and honeysuckle. So if you have any of these in your garden, why not give layering a go? Of course, once you see roots developing in your layer, it's time to gently sever the new plant from its parent. You can then transplant it to a new location or just leave it where it is, depending on your gardening goals. In essence, layering is a method of propagation that allows a plant to gain a head start on life. It's like moving out of your parents' house, but only after you've saved up enough money to afford your own place. With layering, you can create new plants from existing ones. It's a beautiful process, really, watching life beget life in this way. It's one of the many wonders that make gardening such a rewarding endeavor. Lastly, we have propagation by seed starting. This method is as old as nature itself, and while it might take a little patience, the reward is well worth the wait. So, let's dive in and learn how to start a plant from a seed. First things first, you'll need to get your hands on some seeds. You can either collect them from a mature plant or purchase them from a store. Next, you'll need to prepare your soil. A good seed starting mixture is loose, well-draining and rich in nutrients. Make sure your soil is moist but not waterlogged. Once your soil is ready, it's time to sow your seeds. Now, this isn't a one-size-fits-all situation. The depth at which you plant your seeds depends on their size. As a general rule of thumb, seeds should be planted at a depth two to three times their width. Some tiny seeds, like those of lettuce or petunias, may simply be sprinkled on the soil surface. After sowing, you'll need to provide your seeds with the right conditions to germinate. Most seeds prefer warm temperatures and consistent moisture. You can cover your seed tray with a plastic dome or wrap to create a mini greenhouse effect, retaining heat and humidity. Once your seeds have sprouted, you've officially got seedlings on your hands. But remember, these little guys are delicate. They need plenty of light, so make sure they're placed in a sunny spot or under grow lights. And don't forget to water them regularly, but gently. As your seedlings grow and develop their second set of true leaves, it's time to transplant them. Carefully lift each seedling, trying not to disturb the roots, and plant it into its own pot filled with potting mix. From here, Continue to care for them by watering, providing light, and eventually introducing them to outdoor conditions, if applicable. And that's how you start a plant from a seed. It's a process that requires patience and care, but the joy of seeing a tiny seed transform into a thriving plant is truly unmatched. So why not give it a try? You might just find yourself hooked on the magic of plant propagation. Now that you've propagated your plants, let's discuss aftercare. The care you provide after propagation is crucial for your plant's health and growth. It's like nurturing a newborn. It requires attention and love. Let's start with watering. Watering should be done carefully and moderately. Overwatering can lead to root rot, while underwatering can lead to dryness and stunted growth. Next is fertilizing. A balanced, water-soluble fertilizer will provide your plants with the nutrients they need to grow strong and healthy. But remember, less is more when it comes to fertilizing. Too much can harm your plants rather than helping them. Lastly, acclimating plants to outdoor conditions is a delicate process. Gradually expose your plants to outdoor conditions over a period of one to two weeks. This slow introduction will help them adjust to the new environment without experiencing shock. With these tips, your propagated plants will thrive in no time. 